Two Blakes, what's going on? It's your boy Big Vic. Welcome back to my Black Universe. So I want to start a new series with you guys called Black Boxer. So um, this series is about me. So if you just guess, you need to guess. Uh, actually, today was my first day in training. Um, and it was freaking awesome. I got my butt kicked. I didn't spar. I just, uh, the workout kicked my butt. My whole obliques, a whole size is hurting. Everything is hurting because... I'm having to move like I in ways that uh, my body's not used to, and I'm having to do it repetitively and move and back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, and punches and working the speed bag and the heavy bag and mitt work and then um, squats and stuff like that. It's just so much to do, and you do it again and again. Uh, it's intense, but uh, it's something I wanted because I want my health back. I, you know, I've been big for some time. Got all the stomach. We want this gone. Uh, if you know I'm smacking, I did eat, but I had green beans, the fresh green beans, rather, not the canned ones, fresh green beans, sweet potato, and air fried, or I should say air, actually air grilled chicken. I do have air fryer. So, one thing um, I want to do is let you guys know if you are interested in boxing. Um, study the sport. Watch some boxing matches. Watch some of the newest boxers. Watch some of the older boxers, boxers, and really just submerge yourself in the sport and uh, behold its beauty. You know what I'm saying? It, of course, it's not beautiful when you got getting beat up, but there's a beauty in boxing. All right. Um, let me tell you the reason why I chose boxing as my choice to work out as opposed to you know MMA. Um, my arms hurt like crazy. So I'm going to switch from on hand uh multiple times. Um, you, know, you know, I could have did it. May kickboxing, Thai, Kenpo, Jiu-Jitsu, all that. Why boxing? Why that particular sport? Well, boxing, to me, epitomizes the ultimate in confidence. Because um, you're growing up, especially a black male, you know, everybody's, you got good hands, you can keep fight. Okay, we would say keep box. We, we didn't know how to box back then, but, you know, could you fight? That was the epitome of manhood growing up can you defend yourself can you you know whoop the other person all the people i knew that boxed that i found out boxed after the fact i never you know i didn't fight them i wasn't crazy enough to do all this stuff back then but they would whoop up on people they always had a quiet confidence they never felt like they needed to go out and look for a fight um in fact if you tried to invoke fight with it it took so much to get them to fight you and i just i just noticed that and i was like man that was always cool to me and um seeing how a lot of adults, because there's a lot more people boxing than you think. Like a lot, a lot there's a lot of adults that do know, how, but they you won't know because they don't they don't need to come. Hey man, I got a box man, and they want to be fake here, man. What the box man? I can box, you know, it's stupid. They don't need to tell you they can whoop your ass. But if you go swinging them, you will find out they can whoop your ass the hard way, and they'll let you learn the hard way. They rather the chill, man. The workout, like I said, the workout is intense. If you want to find out how unhealthy you are, do a boxing workout. Do a boxing workout. Go to a boxing gym. Some gyms will let you, you know, pay 25, I think 20 to 25 bucks to do uh, just a, a single class with them, you know, uh, and you'll find out real quickly how bad of shape you are in. Man, man, ham sandwich. Guy. Oh, I got my ass kicked, but it was so worth it because uh, the end result is we're going to get rid of man titties. Man titties got to go. Uh, my youngest son, Noah. He likes to make fun of me. He literally, if I had my shirt off, he would literally come to me, <laughs> make fun of his dad. So they got to go for that one. Uh, that's got to go because of that. Two, the stomach's got to go. I got to get all this pressure off my organs. Being too, di too diabetic, I only have to take insulin. I don't, I'm not insulin, but I, I take uh, metformin, <coughs> which is a uh, medicine crafted by the devil because it give you the shits. Keep it G. For those of you who are, man, you approaching diabetes and people, your family's telling you, hey, you need to chill out. You look a bit like you're going to be a diabetic. Metformin will get shit so bad you'll start crying because you will always, like, it literally will have you held hostage to the toilet. No cap. Anyway, so I did this in my first class. It's, it's uh, it, it, it runs a little bit of money. You know, um, the wire box I'm, I'm training at is $175 a month, but $175 a month beats a emergency room visit, a two, three day hospital stay, emergency surgery. It beats that out. You know, I got insurance and that's cool. 
but the time spent in there, the time I lose, because uh, I'm an hourly associate. I, I make good money. You know, I, I do all right. You know, I'm saying um, I ain't got to strip on the weekends no more. But the two three days I lose is not worth. But is does not supersede the hundred seventy five dollars a month I spend. That that to me is dropping the bucket compared to what it could be. So I'm like, cool. I I'll do that. Now hundred seventy five dollars beats being um, in a wheelchair because my, my legs have to be amputated because I just couldn't let go of a certain diet, a certain lifestyle. So if you are looking to box, there's some things you need to do. You need to get prepared. I got prepared. Uh, early on, I had already got me some 16 ounce gloves. These are set and bull. You can get these on Amazon. These are copper joints. I like the color scheme, the color on these joints. These are 30, 40 bucks. 30, 40 bucks. I'll throw a link in the description to these on Amazon. And I got some gel hand wraps. Those are good if you are at home and you're just you're, you have um, um, a flex bag like I have. I'll show you guys in, in a later video what I have in my home. Um, that's good for that. I learned today in training that's not what you want when you're hitting heavy bag when you're uh, doing your mid works. It is not because the the glove the gel padding it shifts on your knuckles and this knuckle. My ring finger knuckle uh, and my middle uh, finger knuckle, oh, they were hurting a little bit. They were hurting. And even though I was hitting with the cushioning below the knuckles, uh, yeah, that was it was hurting because it was shift. It's moving. It's, it's not as solid or secure as traditional hand wraps. Get you traditional hand wraps. I know it takes a while to wrap, but you're protecting your hand. Um, you're protecting your tools. You know, you don't want to break your hand, especially if you work like I do. I work with hand tools. If I break my hand, I can't work with hand tools. I can't work with hand tools. I don't get paid. Seven dollar wraps outweighs having broken hands. Sorry. So, sixteen ounce gloves, traditional hand wraps. These are super important. Boxing shoes. Purchase mine on Title. Their website. Yes, I got them in the gold metallic. I couldn't find them in orange. I couldn't find them in nothing in copper. Cause I wanted something in copper. So I got the gold joints. Um, I learned quickly because I bought those. I want to make sure they fit. You need boxer, boxer socks. You need socks that are good for boxing. Now, the, the socks, um, these are 13 to 15, size 13 to 15. So, they're going to run a little larger. I suspect that when I wash these, because these aren't the only pair. I have a red pair, purple pair, blue pair, and these uh, gold joints. I suspect that once I wash these, they're going to shrink. And when they shrink, um, they won't be so high up because they, 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 they literally, literally came up to right here below my knees. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, you'll need mouth guard, all right. Especially when you start getting sparring or you you get in the, you get in the, to the ring uh, to do sparring, you gotta get used to that. So you need a mouth guard. Um, I got a sanding bowl one. I'll throw a link in the description. I'll throw a link in the description for everything that I got right here. And uh, it's a single boil mouth guard. And what else you need? Gym bag. You need a gym bag. You need a jump rope. Get your jump rope, your own personal jump rope. Sometimes they do have them. They had them at this gym, but I couldn't find one my size. But I have a jump rope, which defeated the purpose of me having a jump rope and not bringing it. And, uh, of course, some close workout in. I have this. This wicks off sweat pretty good. This one is Reebok. But I got this at uh, either Burlington or Ross. I want to say Burlington. Coach Fact. I, I got this at Burlington. So I got this at Burlington. I got my uh, these shorts, these and one shorts at... Um, Walmart. I got these at Walmart. Um, just some some lightweight clothes. Like I, I learned today, these this time of the year, this long sleeve, no, mm -mm. not something. Um, this, I have one that's no sleeves. This I'm, I'm gonna wear next time when I go in, um, and do my next video. You'll see me, and it does have a hood. I didn't use the hood, but for when I was training at home, as much uh, call it training, <clears throat> I put the hood on just to, you know start sweating and, and warm the body up a little bit quicker. So. Those things to get, <clears throat> if you're looking to lose weight, I think this is, to me, it's one of the best ways it's so involved, um, especially when you get your great trainer, um, somebody who really knows boxing and really can, you know, give you technique and teach you how to move and how to how to get really get down and make some things happen. Like my legs are sore because there's certain movements. You got to know how to uh, pretty much sit or squat and then come off with power shots, uppercuts, hooks certain things like that so uh leg movement you know moving shifting your body from the front foot to the back foot moving side to side lateral movement um forward movement backward movement things like that and um 
you it's gonna be a workout. And I live upstairs. So I'm going upstairs. I'm like, I'm like, ah, who put these stupid stairs? It, <laughs> it's like these stupid stairs. Who put these right here? Uh, but I, I'm I'm loving it so far, man. It's uh, it's it's dope. And uh, I look forward to doing this for the long haul, man. I look forward to looking a year later and seeing like, dang, this is uh, like wow. Taking taking a picture now and be like, whoa, I used to be that guy. And um, because I stuck to it and I, you know, I changed my diet, I got serious. I'm, you know, the better version of me physically, uh, mentally, um, and things like that. So, guys, follow me on my journey. And by no means does this mean I'm going to stop doing content on uh, black-owned products. This is just my journey. I want to share this with you guys just in case there's somebody who's over 300 pounds like myself, 315. Last I weighed myself, but I, I, I was fully clothed and I had my work shoes on with you. My work shoes, I'm pretty sure if I threw them at somebody, I'd probably go to jail for it. Uh, <laughs> attempted murder. <laughs> murder with a deadly weapon. Um, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on IG at Bearded Brother, B E R A D 3 D B R U T H A. <clears throat> I'll be posting pictures and stuff like that uh, over time. You know, before and after, like me at week one. Me a week three, stuff like that. Also other products, uh, black owned companies, things like that. So uh, be sure to follow, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Until next time, peace and blessings, people.